Hey everyone, welcome back to another sore episode from this season's theme of book tailors for books that provide food for thought. If you haven't already, be sure to give a listen to last week's episode on the book Never Fall Down. Today's episode is on Fahrenheit 451, a dystopian novel by Ray Bradbury that describes the importance of books and education. In this dystopian world, books are burned to a crisp and book owners are punished. Guy Montag, the protagonist of the story, is a firefighter that must engage in this incineration of reading material. He believes he is happy with his work, but feels off about it and realizes that he is actually not content with it when he meets Clarice, a teenage girl and his new neighbor, who does unorthodox things such as walk and have conversations, things uncommon in this new society. She asks him if he's happy, and when he comes home to his wife Mildred on the ground after taking a bunch of sleeping pills in a suicide attempt, he realizes that he is not happy at all. He goes to the fire station and asks his captain, Betty, if there was ever a time when firefighters prevented fires instead of starting them. They then get an alarm to go to an old woman's house where books are kept, but she refuses to leave. As they douse the home in kerosene, she lights a match and chooses to burn along with her home and books, though Montag is able to save one of them that he hides and takes with him. Later, Montag finds out that Clarice was killed. Now distressed, Montag decides not to go to work the next day, but is visited by Captain Betty, who lectures him about the importance of their work as firefighters, telling him that firefighters don't get in trouble if they return books within 24 hours. Will Montag return the book he got? How does Captain Betty know? Will he get caught? If he does, what will happen to him? What's going to happen regarding his relationship with Mildred? Who killed Clarice and why? Read to find out and join this incredible journey as Montag fights for what's right in a society where everything has gone wrong. For me, I truly enjoyed reading this book, especially because I personally really value reading and education. This book is full of thrill, action, adventure, mystery, suspense, dystopia, change, lessons, friends, family, hope, and is truly a book that I would recommend. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to leave a rating and a review, and to spread the word about SOAR to help achieve its goal of promoting reading. I implore you to soar.